G'day, Tanner Coder. Welcome back to the Anzac Gaming Channel. I know, I know, it's been a long time between videos. It's been probably two months or so since the last videos. But Happy New Year to all of you. I hope that the this first month has been kind to you. Uh, so you know, um, but I would like to talk about things that I'm actually looking forward to this year. Uh, which first I have to mention, I'll be returning to Melbourne for VidCon. I've already purchased my Creator Pass. I kind of had to. I had a discount code that would expire if I hadn't used it by then. Um, and now I'm just keeping an eye on accommodation and flight specials as I plan to be there a lot longer than I was last year, about a week instead of um, the four or five day, four days I think I was there last year. So I plan on being there for from Monday to Monday and doing and and you might be wondering why well there are plans going into place uh, that will require the extra time uh, to you know to cover off on but that's we, we see how that all goes i also plan on hitting packs this year but we will, again we will see how that goes because the first melbourne the vidcon melbourne trip is going to be quite expensive because of the accommodations um, meeting to be a week uh, so you know uh, we'll see how that goes uh, with any luck um, I might be able to go anyway but we'll see uh, I am also looking forward to moving again into a new home at some point in the middle of the year and setting up my studio and building the new workstation gaming PC which you know I'm really looking forward to because it means that everything is going to be set up exactly how I need it to be set up so that I can really uh, produce high quality uh, and consistent uh, videos unlike right now where it's a little bit flaky all over the place because recording conditions just aren't there at all times and lastly while we're all here these games I'm also looking forward to first up Sea of Thieves, the swashbuckling multiplayer pirate game being developed by Rare and published by Microsoft for the Xbox One and Windows 10 platforms. I've had a little jaunt in the, as a game insider or an insider or whatever you want to call it during its alpha, but I've had the most uh, with it because I haven't been getting those Kiwi beard errors, whatever, um, this time around on the closed beta. And you will be able to find my full impressions of the game so far in the description of this video and at the end of this video in one of those title card thingies. Uh, second up, we have Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. I am no fan of turn based JRPGs at all. In fact, the only JRPG I have played even then only about 30 minutes or so is Tales of Zestaria and I actually am enjoying that game since its combat is real time and not turn based but Nino Kuni on the other on the PlayStation 3 looked very very good and the story intrigued me so much that I watched a let's play of it since I wasn't going to go out and buy a PlayStation 3 for one bloody game but Nino Kuni 2 is coming to PC and from what I have read it is based hundreds of years after the first and is being touted as a good jumping off point even if you haven't played the first. So because of some people's, well because to some people's disgust, I am someone that enjoys the odd anime, especially Ghibli stuff like Castle in the Sky, Howl's Moving Castle, Porco Rosso, especially since I love aviation and of course Spirited Away with many others from Studio Ghibli. And Nino Kuni is right up that alley considering Ghibli did all the cutscenes for the first one. I'll be getting Nino Kuni 2 and looking forward to playing it. Next is, as much as EA is the big bad wolf at the moment, I'm looking forward to hearing more. So hearing more about Bioware's new game Anthem. Uh, it has piqued my interest and I cannot wait to see more gameplay and hear more about the underlying story and the mechanics and hopefully not here that they will be employing underhanded microtransactions tactics that they pulled with Battlefront 2. And let's be honest here, the game essentially turns you into Iron Man, and who doesn't want to be Tony Stark? But we will have to wait until 2019 at this point apparently uh, for actual release, but hopefully we will hear more about it this year. Uh, next we have Far Cry 5. I enjoyed Far Cry 4 and didn't mind Far Cry Primal, but I like the idea of Far Cry 5 having the two-player co-op campaign. I also think that it's cool that the game is based on a real place, albeit fictitious at the same time, and the premises premise seems interesting to me too. You know, taking out basically a warmongering religious cult appeals to me for some reason. 
Also, no linear story and dynamic AI that learns about your tactics and adjusts itself as you become a bigger threat also interests me, as in previous games I tend to go in loud and just foobar everything. I know there will be times when I will annoyingly be forced into stealth missions, but as long as I get to go in and still blow st stuff up, I'm going to be a happy angel. Anyway, last is a park builder game like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but with dinosaurs. I give you Jurassic World Evolution. Based on the Jurassic World movie, and I love me some park builders, the last game I played like this was Jurassic Park uh, Operation Genesis, which wasn't terribly good, but wasn't terribly bad either. But at this stage, we have to wait till we find out more. I've only, like what you're seeing here is just the announcement trailer. It's not anything kind of, I don't know, special I guess it, it just sort of introduces you to the fact that this thing is happening but anyway so tell me in the comments what games you are looking forward to either hearing more about or planning on buying and as always thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time and no hora